Today, I am going to build a very simple yet fascinating project using a 4-pin Hall Effect sensor. First, I take a yellow LED as one of the main indicators in the circuit. Next, I add a red LED to the project. I solder the positive pin anode of the red LED directly to the positive pin of the yellow LED. This way, both LEDs share the same supply voltage. After that, I carefully apply solder to the negative pins, cathodes of both LEDs. This prepares the pins for the next connections, ensuring that the joints are strong and won't break easily. Now comes the key component, a four pin Hall effect sensor. This sensor has four pins, VCC, power in, ground, and two outputs that respond to magnetic polarity. I solder each of the middle pins of the Hall effect sensor to the negative pins of the yellow LED and red LED. This way, each LED is linked to one of the sensor's outputs. I actually found this Hall effect sensor in an old CPU fan. Many cooling fans and computers use Hall sensors to detect rotation speed. Since the pins are very short and difficult to work with, I carefully soldered extension wires to each pin to make them longer and easier to connect in my project. This way, the sensor is fully reusable instead of being wasted. To protect the LEDs from excess current, I take a 100 ohm resistor. I solder this resistor between the negative pins of the LEDs and the first pin, VCC, of the Hall effect sensor. The resistor limits current, making sure the LEDs glow safely without burning out. Once everything is fixed, I trim off the extra pins to make the circuit neat and compact. Now it's time to connect the power source. I'm using a 3.7 volt rechargeable battery, which is perfect for powering LEDs and small sensors. I solder the negative wire of the battery to the fourth pin, ground of the Hall effect sensor, and the positive wire to the first pin, VCC of the sensor. As soon as the connection is made, the red LED glows steadily, showing that the circuit is powered and ready. Now comes the real test. When I bring a magnet near the Hall effect sensor, the sensor detects the magnetic field and the yellow LED turns on. When I flip the magnet's polarity and bring it near again, the red LED lights up instead. It feels almost magical, but it's actually science at work. The Hall effect sensor works on the principle of magnetic field detection. Inside it, a small element produces voltage when exposed to a magnetic field. Depending on the polarity of the magnet, one of the two output pins is activated. This allows either the yellow LED or the red LED to glow. In simple words, one magnet with two different sides can control two LEDs. You can use this project as a contactless switch for gadgets, turning lights on and off with just a magnet, in security systems detecting if a door or window with a magnet is opened or closed, in DIY bikes and toys to trigger LEDs or buzzers when magnets pass nearby, in speedometers where a magnet on a wheel activates the sensor every rotation, as an educational project showing how magnetic fields interact with electronics.